Hello, in this video, we will learn about CSS. CSS or Cascading Style Sheet is a style sheet language which is used to describe the presentation of any document written in a markup language such as HTML. So why do we need CSS? With the immense success of HTML, its script started to become more and more complex as more styling statements became hard-coded in the script. With more and more browsers and styling capabilities, it became more difficult to maintain consistent site or change site presentation quickly. CSS helps to separate formatting with content. A markup language like HTML, XML, SVG can focus on content while CSS helps in the presentation part. It helps to reduce complexity and repetition of styling statements in HTML. This helps in reduction of errors and ease of maintenance of site. The same CSS file can be shared across multiple HTML documents. CSS helps in making any styling change across multiple HTML files a lot simpler. It can even provide alternate formatting for different devices. It is simple, easy to learn, saves time and it also makes the actual content more accessible. CSS was first proposed by Hakon Biem Lee in 1994 and the first version of CSS1 was released in 1996. CSS2 was published in 1998 and current version of CSS3 was released in 2012. You must be wondering why the name Cascading Style Sheets. This is because it allows multiple style sheets to be applied on the same document or document element and it defines the cascading sequence in which they will be applied. There are different types of style sheets. First is Author Style Sheet which is written by the author along with the HTML document. Then there is User Style Sheet which is set by the user as to how he wants the web page to be displayed. Then there is Browser Style Sheet which is default browser style applied to HTML documents. CSS allows defining priority where typically author style overrides user which overrides the browser style. Let's learn about CSS syntax. A CSS is actually a collection of style rules that are interpreted by the browser and then applied to the corresponding element in your document. A style rule set consists of a selector and declaration block. The selector points to the HTML element you want to style. The declaration block contains one or more declarations separated by semicolon. Each declaration includes a CSS property name and a value separated by a colon. A CSS declaration always ends with a semicolon and declaration blocks are surrounded by curly braces. For example, in this all P elements will be center aligned with a red text color. Depending upon where we place the style rules, there are three types of CSS. First is inline CSS which contains the CSS property in the HTML body section attached with element is known as inline CSS. This kind of style is specified within an HTML tag using style attribute. CSS can also be embedded in the HTML head section if a single HTML document must be styled uniquely. This is called as internal CSS. So as you see in this example, the style statements are inserted in the head section. Next is external CSS where there is separate .css file which contains only style property with the help of tag attributes for example class, id, heading and it is linked to the HTML document using link tag in the HTML head section. This means that for each element, style can be set only once and that will be applied across multiple HTML files. Inline CSS has the highest priority, then comes internal embedded followed by the external CSS which has the least priority. In our next video, we will learn how to use the selector block and declaration block 